This is Andre Williams, ECC. One of the most powerful gang in Brazil. Them have over 30,000 members. You understand? This guy here, him have politician and everybody tied up in his back pocket. I'm going to tell you about him and I'm going to tell you about the real leader of their prison. Let's go. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again. The great, great, one more great countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on your notification button. Now, me I go right into this. You're looking at Marcus Williams, one of the most powerful prisoner in the world. The PCC in Brazil, them have over 30 thousand members now they're involved in a lot of crime and all sorts of things based in sao paulo and with over 30,000 members this violent organization have massacred police murdered judges and shut down entire cities through brute force and financial control and political connection this gang is moving through Brazil and South America and even in America with rapid speed. You hear me? This gang make gangs in Jamaica look like child's play. They redefine what gang is and a lot of people and a lot of the states look at them they, they, in Brazil, the government as enemy of the state. But what the PCC has done, they have redefined the organization and the leadership skills in gangs in Brazil. Now, this is no ordinary gang. You have low-level thugs which step on the road. You have members where they are prison. And you have millionaire if not billionaire drug traffickers in this gang. To give an idea what really happened, Brazil, them have so much gangs, them get a policy of mass incarceration. So no for the youths them go jail. Now for decades the government abuse the prisoner them and then the PCC when them farm for them gang them start show the prisoner them how to organize themselves how to make money while them they are jail but most of all them provide them protection now going back to the mass incarceration because you have so much mass incarceration and the situation in Brazil when it comes to the youths them, most youths on the street is loyal to the PCC because they know that they have to go to jail or one day they have to go to jail. So because of the mass incarceration, it was able to Farm this gang, that's what they in Brazil now, you know. Me I talk about Brazil like a person. Because of the mass incarceration, the prisoner, the gang member them, end up support PCC because PCC was able to transform the prison. To give an idea how powerful Modelo is the leader boy. When the prison said they were gonna transfer him, it caused the city of San Paulo to shut down and hundreds of people died. Police get killed, police get burned up, all sorts of things happen. And they couldn't transfer the leader who's doing 232 years in prison. Brazil have 96 prisons 
in three different states. And when they wanted to move the leader of the PCC, all 96 prisons was rioting. When the police tried going out of prison, the neighborhood them now start riot. Them burn down banks, them burn down buildings, them shoot people just to keep this guy from not moving from one prison to the next. That's just an example. This gang have information on all their members, 35,000. Them have spreadsheets, Excel sheets of all the money them, them make. All the gang member them have to contribute money towards this gang. But going back to what I'm saying, like in comparison to say a country like Jamaica, if we're not careful, we can end up just like Brazil. Because the mass incarceration without any supplemental programs in terms of rehabilitating these youths, it leads to this kind of situation. Now, you would say this guy would be the doodles of Brazil. You understand? Only on a way bigger scale. Now, the PCC, them provide protection for the people them in the neighborhood. Them provide health services where the government falls short. Them provide uh, health care. A lot of these gang members, them recruit doctors. Them have pharmaceutical companies under them belt, so it is like a multinational corporation. It's a business, and all of this became possible of this guy, Mr. Williams Madello. If you like what I'm doing, please support this channel. We have a couple different things. I am not using them, but them did it like the thank you thing. They join the channel. It's just a lot of work to make videos, have a day job, take care of your family. If I didn't love this thing, I wouldn't do it, believe me. But yeah, remember, just hit the subscribe button and share it and tell your friends. And tell a friend who tell a friend. It's a countryman. I do the thing. Now, this gang, them not only just, they are Brazil. What they did in 2017, them invaded a city in Paraguay. Shoot out with the police and the authorities. And made off with $8 million. That's how this gang operate everything is organized to the t i'm they'll still remember this day it's like the 9 11. the pcc don't just restrict themselves to brazil in 2017 they invaded a city in paraguay outgunned the police and made off with eight million dollars uh, there were speedboats um, on a river uh, uh, right on the border uh, that were waiting for uh, uh, those who went into the bank uh, to actually perform the heist uh, there were, um, you know, large machine guns uh, uh, attached to, to, to these boats, and so uh, really military-grade uh, equipment. The PCC has gone in and taken over control of those territories, and that has helped the PCC evolve in the direction of something approaching a real drug cartel. One of the biggest war them have to date, them, the PCC, and another gang, a fight over the Amazon region. That are the region where most drug traffic are used because it border Colombia, the whole of South America. And right now them in a bloody war. 
Listen to this. Now, the PCC are embroiled in one of their bloodiest wars yet. And this time, it's not the police. In the north of Brazil, the PCC and other gangs are fighting over territory in the Amazon region. They're fighting over uh, not just the Amazonian capital within Brazil, which is Manaus, but they're fighting over the right to use very lucrative riverine networks throughout the Amazon. This is an incredibly lucrative route for drug traffic because it allows Brazilian criminal organizations to access both Colombia and Peru. So do you hear that? Them are fight for access to the most lucrative drug route on the planet. So this gang is not no ordinary gang and this guy Madelo. Now, in the beginning I was telling you about Andre Williams and this was another leader of the PCC. Now, this guy, Mr. Williams, he got caught and went to jail in 2019. And for some reason, the Brazilian authority, this man right here, gave Mr. Williams a pass to get out of prison. And you know what he did? So the judge named Ag, on a part of my pronunciation, Ag Yellow, him grant Mr. Williams a Hebrews Carpros to leave the prison. And the man go straight in our airplane, a jet plane, and fly to Paraguay. And now them a look for him. Now, you see how strong them you the corruption is and how them have the system pan lock. Remember now, in their prison, you know, the second lieutenant and a judge grant him a Hebrews Carpros. I guess some special uh, permission. And him just get dressed and drive go on private airport and jump on a millionaire jet plane and gone. And that's how powerful this gang is. So while doing this video, if you notice the title say San Paulo have been hunting for Andre Malco 45, leader of the biggest criminal organization in Brazil. But it end up that may end up do the thing for Mr. Williams also, which is the leader which he is in jail now. That's the man in the white shirt on the left side. But an interesting title come to me. Would I say yo? Mr. Williams is the Dudos of Brazil. That's what comes to me. He is the Dudos of Brazil. And the other guy, Andre Macedo, the one who jumped in at the jet plane would be the lieutenant of Dudos. Now, I say that to say this. Jamaica, we in our infant stage. But in, in a lot of ways, you can see the, the uh, blueprint where government leave up the people them, the dance them start run the neighborhood and then them get more organized and them take over social services, education, even medical for, for the people them, responsible for the people them. Uh, Jamaica, our gang them, them, them is not as organized, they're more, uh, we I say Americanized and egotistical in terms of, you know, capitalism and uh, 
the norms that comes behind that. Whereas in Brazil, you do have that, but a lot of the gang resource goes into a bigger picture in terms of protection for the people and medical care, like I said, education, because the government leave up the people and have so much people. If you don't have money and you're not set, you can't go to the right place for education and them think the public education system is, is gone to waste. The same thing can occur in Jamaica. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm still debating the title, if it should be me, the Dudos of Brazil and his lieutenant or leave it the way it is let me know what you think about this video but this is a warning to Jamaica my name is Countryman remember to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification button I'm out